In this video, I'm going to be surviving 100 days in Minecraft Bedrock. Due to contrary belief, Minecraft Bedrock is way worse than Minecraft Java Edition, and personally, I agree. But, that's not the point of this video. I'm going to be surviving 100 days in Minecraft Bedrock, not Java. One major thing I want to do is kill the Ender Dragon. Another thing, I want to make a nice house. And the final thing, I want to have a villager trading hall inside that house. So let's get straight into this video because I don't like dragging on the intro too long. Also, please like and sub, it would greatly appreciate I To start off this adventure, it was just like any other Let's Player, chopping down trees, saying hi to a couple fans, chopping down more trees, but then I found this village that was really close, so I stole all of their carrots, but I put them back, I'm not a monster. I also trapped all the sli I mean business partners into a hut. And I found this weird dungeon in the middle of the village. I found this really weird. I also then slept. First try. Totally first try, I swear. I started off day two by turning a villager house into my house. And then collecting all of their wheat because it was now my food and my property. I also decided to start caving and I did this for the remainder of day two. Had a close call nearly fell into this pit of lava. And day three, I emerged from the mines, and I proceeded to loot the village and chop down a lot more trees. I went through a lot of trees, but when I came back, I decided to sort my inventory, and that was pretty much it for day three. Day four, I finally crafted up all of my iron tools and decided to go back into the caves. I went right into the pit thinking that it could be good, and boy was I right. I was greeted by this creeper. But there was a lot to see here. Now, I was in these caves from day 4 to day 8, and I don't want to bore you with all of this footage, so instead we'll just do a super fast time lapse. Never mind, I deleted it. Oops. To sum up what happened, pretty much I gathered a bunch of iron in the caves, and then I found some diamonds, and then using those diamonds I started mining some obsidian, and then day 11 I came up from the caves. Day 12, I focused on smelting everything down so I can actually use it, and then day 13, I decided to do something with my skeleton spawner. Day 14, I started digging straight down from the skeleton spawner because I wanted it to lead into my base, but with my, <laughs> my great luck, I went straight into a cave, and it was exactly where I wanted my base to be. I was not very happy, but I made it work, and I started digging from day day 14 all the way up to day 17 i was just digging out my base days 18 to 21 i just <laughs> i decorated my base you know it wasn't very productive but i wanted my base to look nice this was one of my first times ever really building a underground base that was this big but you know what i was i was liking it i thought it looked good Oh, what's that? You're a little surprised about the image I just showed you about the base progression? Yeah, I lied to you. I actually did a lot more than that, but I didn't actually include it. Look at this bad boy. Let me take you for a little tour real quick. Hope you enjoyed that little tour, but let's go ahead and get back to day 22. I literally, I literally spent, spent the entire, the entire day, day just organizing chests. chests. Moving on, uh, day 23, I, <laughs> I spent a lot of iron on pickaxes. I wanted to do a ton of mining, and let's just say that's what I did for the next 11 days. Yeah, uh, enjoy. <laughs>
And this is what we ended up with. Now, you might be thinking, this does not look like a few hours worth of grinding in Minecraft. There was so much gravel. It was the most annoying thing on planet Earth. My shovel broke. I decided not to make one, and I had to mine all the gravel with my hands and try and time placing torches correctly. It was a pain, but I'm glad I got a lot of diamonds, and let's move on to the next day. I started off day 35 by smelting off all of my stuff that I got, and then I decided to go exploring. I actually stumbled across a jungle and found something to jump in, so I jumped. <laughs> I'm in danger! Probably would have been better if I didn't do that, but I didn't die. While swimming back up to get out of there, I found a mine shaft. So I went to go loot it, but I didn't really find much. Day 36, I convinced myself that I was X-Rang. I don't know how I found these, but I did. And I felt cool. And then I also made my way home, finally, but... I'm sad, I wasn't recording, but I got so much watermelon and some bamboo, and I brought it home, so now I have my own little jungle things. Days 37 to 39, I decided that I wanted to improve the top part of my house, the part where you actually get into it by making a nice farm and terraforming so I didn't have these weird terrain bits sticking out. I felt like it was looking much better. I also planted some sugar cane and decided that I wanted to get some cows because... You know, looking back on it, I never really prepared for the enchantment table that I now have, so I kinda, kinda gotta get books. Day 40, I collected sugarcane and breeded my cows because I really wanted this enchantment table. And then I wanted to go out on an adventure, but most of the footage corrupted. Surprise, surprise, something went wrong, and it was gonna near that time eventually. But I do have a few clips of what happened, so I'll try my best to explain them. So right here you see me traveling far away this direction and if I keep going over this mountain I find a village and in this village there is this giant ravine that is really thick look at this boy so I jump down into it and we're all just chilling right we're all just chilling and then I find diamonds and that's like pretty cool and then ugh, this is where the footage gets choppy but I found 20 diamonds I know that seems fake I know I know but trust me, there's a lot of diamonds there. The seed's down in the description, and you can go to these cords right now and go find some diamonds yourself. I promise I did not cheat them in. I'm a good boy. Anyways, day 42 is a day that will be remembered. I finally crafted the last bookshelf. Boom. I now had access to level 30 enchantment. You know how good this felt? It, let me ch it felt amazing. I finally crafted up all of my diamond stuff and immediately enchanted those bad boys. Cause what I wanted to do next was go into the nether and let me tell you, I was not going in there until I had diamonds. I'm not dying this way. That ain't, that ain't how this is ending. Days 43 to 47, I spent in the nether collecting quartz and all the things you could think about and had a nice little spook. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, this was not a pro gamer moment. You know, I'm not an expert gamer or anything, oh, but I can tell when a pro gamer Wait, moment no, happens no, 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 and when it way, doesn't way. happen. I'm... Oh, screw that. I could have died right there. Think of... Think about what would have happened if I didn't have my diamond armor. I could have died. God, dude, I really hate the nether. After returning back to my base on day 48, there was a chicken. I don't know how he got down there, but he did. Kind of strange. But I crafted up an iron axe, enchanted it, and began digging out this giant spot. This is where I was going to put my villagers. Now is the task of actually bringing them down with me. Oh boy, this was, this was all just kind of a mess, if I'm going to be honest. One of them ended up slipping right here. I swear he slipped. It, it definitely wasn't me. I didn't hit him. But after that slight little hiccup, I made it back to the base with them, and I had to get some beds because I wanted to breed these bad boys. I wanted more than two villagers. While getting a bed, I was jump scared by this man, and I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. So I carried on with my day, got my beds, and I heard a sound, so I was like, oh, what's that? And oh, guess I wasn't the only one those zombies tried to kill. Now that my villagers were zombies, I had to spend the next six days in the nether trying to get potions. After a lot of searching, like I'm saying days of searching, I came across the stronghold. And I went a little ham. See, with my diamond sword, it had looting. So I managed to get a few things. You know, just, just a casual wither skeleton skull. And then this is what my inventory looked like after the whole nether trip. 
Now all I needed was a brown mushroom and that couldn't be too hard, found a village and well, this golem nearly ended my journey. On day 60, I finally made it back to my base and oh boy, what's that sound? Okay, now this is getting ridiculous. First a chicken, now we got a slime, and now we got all these little slimelets. Okay, well after killing them, I finally made my potions of weakness. Combined with my golden apples, I could finally heal my little prisoner. I mean, villagers. They're not prisoners. No, that'd be mean putting it that way, right? Yeah. Okay, well, they were finally ready, so I decided, hey, why don't you take my bread? I give them all my bread. They didn't really like my bread. I don't know why. They just, they weren't breeding. I literally left for a minute, and then all of a sudden there's four children. Why is there four children? I was literally gone a minute. Okay, well, I guess they're breeding. That's, that's good, right? I still don't understand. How do they produce, like, five children within a minute? Okay, here we are, back 62, 65, you know, those days where I was just building a tower. I wanted the, the little entrance to my hole to be nice. And, you know what? This was looking better, I guess. I came back, and sweet Jesus, there's so many babies. Okay, I'm sorry, listen, they're just, they look evil, do they not? I mean, look at them. But I spent a lot of time making sure I could get the right enchantments for these bad boys, alright? This one wasn't cooperating, I'd use water, but it worked, alright? I got him in there. Now let's let's move on. Let's let's do a little showcase actually. Let me run you through the villagers I currently have. Okay, so right here I have good old protection and my good old other one. And then we got these two right here. And then we got the main showcase. We got the Menden boy in here. Look at this bad boy. Oh, he's so worth it. It's going to help us out so much in the future. Day 74, I converted my horrible skeleton farm into this work of art. This thing is so powerful. I had to get a trident to kill uh, the zombies. And, you know, there's, there's a lot that goes into this. I'll leave a link to the video I watched in the description if you want to check it out. But it's seriously really good. So if you're wondering why I get random XP boosts in between clips and stuff, it's probably because I was AFKing here. Something really important I should probably mention, every time I go AFK in this world, I do not count it towards a day survived, because I feel like that takes away from it, and it's not that entertaining. I spent the next 10 days getting emeralds, and if you're wondering how I do that, I have this underground part where I like to call it the underground, where I make all of my emeralds, so uh, yeah, there's that. To do this, I have Fletchers, so I have to do a lot of tree chopping, and Let's just say I got a few inventories full of sticks. Okay, so I'm kind of stupid. I completely forgot to film me getting the best armor enchants, the best tool enchants. Just, I got the best enchants in general, and I feel, I feel bad for not including it. I'm sorry. But I then went on to do a bunch of mining down in the nether. I might be wondering why. Well, there's only a couple of reasons, of course. The most obvious one, I needed netherite. We were nearing 100 days, and I needed my netherite before I fought the ender dragon. Day 94, I finally crafted my netherite armor. I didn't get enough for my tools, but hey, I was looking nice. And then I decided, you know what, since we got five days left, let's go ahead and head out of here. So I traveled by boat, found this abandoned portal thing, and <laughs> yeah, this village, this is where it was, and it was a few thousand blocks away from spawn. Took a while to get here, but I made it work. And after getting a few more ender pearls, I dug down into it. Found the portal, didn't take me too long, I guess, and it took a little bit. And finally, here we were, a whole hundred days, and we finally made it here. 
So let's just watch this all play out. I'm going to use my actual recording of me while this was happening. So enjoy the rest of this video. Peace out for now. Oh my god, finally, we're actually about to do this. I swear, if I die now, this is just going to hurt me so bad. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead. If I die now, it is all over. Give me that water bucket. I need to play this safe. I'm not dying here. Okay, let's go ahead and just place it down there. You know what? I'm going to tower up. Got this instant. Oh god! Oh! Oh my god. Bro, why is the dragon gotta shoot fireballs at me? I'm just chilling. I'm trying to kill him, but uh, you know what? Okay, whatever. Alright, now I got now I gotta use my Navy SEAL sniping skills over here, okay? Ready for this? Ready for this? Snip. Okay, no, snip, snip, snip. And boom! Easy. Back down. Why did I not use my shield yet? Okay. Here we go, here we go. And boosh. Where if I die by Enderman, I'm going to be sad. Die. <laughs> no. Can't just die! We're both missing our shots here. Come on, there's one. Yo, you, you coming back? Alright. Alright, let's go, let's go. Bring you. I'm gonna bring you down to half HP before you leave. Yo, I kind of called it. Oh, no, come on. Oh, come on. You're so close to dying. You're so close. Just die. Quit shooting me with fireballs. No one likes those. Come here. Come on, boy. Yes, yes. Oh, I actually did it. I actually did. I beat the Ender Dragon. I didn't die. Oh, my God. And now I can heal all of my tools using mending. Let's go! Yeah, that's right, gamers. I made it to day 100, and you best believe I got that dragon egg. I ain't forgetting the dragon egg. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video. This took me forever to make. Now, if you want 200 days, I'm gonna I'm gonna request 500 likes. I know that's an insane, ridiculously high amount for my channel, but this took so much effort. Like, I don't even know how to put it into words, but I'm really excited to show you all my journey. I'm really hoping to get some good feedback from this. Now, if you want to watch my other videos, I'd highly recommend you do it. But just a warning, this is probably my best video I've ever posted, so the other ones aren't top quality. Now, I'm not going to bore you with a super long outro mm. screen or anything. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll just, I'll just end this off with a goodbye. Psych! I'm flexing my ender egg, man. Look at me. Look, I'm a pro gamer. Y'all best believe I'm coming back with 200 days. We're killing that ender dragon for a second time. We're killing the wither. You best believe it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!